Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Stuff by JP. So in our third video, we saw what's deformation and how deformation takes place and how to calculate it. So if you remember, we used one formula that was delta L is equal to PL upon AE. So how is this formula derived? Let's see and watch the video till end. So this is based on one simple law called as Hooke's law. So the Hooke's law states that within an elastic limit, the stress is directly proportional to the strain. So as we know, the stress is denoted by sigma and strain is denoted by small e. So to equate this, we need to add one constant. So the equation becomes sigma is equal to constant multiplied by e. Now let's take this e on the left hand side. So we will get our equation sigma upon e is equal to constant. So now this constant is nothing but the modulus of elasticity or Young's modulus and it is denoted by capital E. So now we have a new equation that is capital E is equal to sigma upon E. So the unit of sigma is Newton per mm square and E is unitless. Therefore the Young's modulus unit will be Newton per mm square. So E is equal to sigma upon E but sigma is nothing but force upon area. So we will add P upon A instead of sigma and E is nothing but change in length upon original length which is denoted by delta L upon L. Now let's modify this equation P upon A this L will go upside and L upon DL. So now we have a new equation E is equal to PL upon A into delta L. So now let's shift this delta L on the left hand side and take this E on the right hand side. We will get our equation delta L is equal to PL upon AE. Hence proved. 